Well, what's going on everybody? I wanted to shoot a quick update video regarding the data center stuff that I've been studying for the past eh, about a month now or so, maybe not quite that long. Um, so due to some advice that I received on a couple YouTube videos, some people were telling me don't waste my time on the, the Nexus titanium image. So I didn't. I bypassed that and I went directly to the 9KV and oh my god, way, way, way better. Everything that I've demoed so far has worked and worked well. So I've done the VLANs, the trunking. Uh, I didn't bother spending time on VTP or Spanish Tree Protocol because, I mean, it's I mean, really no difference there. I did port channels. That worked out well. Then I did a basic VPC where I set up a VPC from a couple of 9Ks down to a 9K, and that seemed to work out pretty well. I noticed that when you do, like, pings and uh, stuff like that, there's no MAC address learning. So if you do a show MAC address table, it doesn't show any MAC addresses. Eh, no, no big deal. No harm, no foul. But I got that working and all that operational. And then I switched gears over to the unicast routing. So I enabled OSPF, got that completely running, and then I had to, just, to deploy multicast. So I deployed PIM, got all the interfaces configured for PIM, which is no different than regular iOS routers right, or XR. So it works pretty much the same way. That went swimmingly. And then I did, you know, and uh, I d defined an RP address, and I was able to uh, pretty easily get pings to work for multicast groups. Then I switched gears over towards VXLAN, and I started off VXLAN with some basic stuff like ingress replication to do over a unicast transport in case you know multicast and that isn't deployed. That was pretty easy to work with. I got that up and running pretty quickly, and. Uh, I was doing like one VLAN to one VNI, which is pretty much how you do it. I was getting that to work and I was able to ping from one router to another router over VXLAN. And you could definitely tell it was VXLAN because if you did a, a ping between two routers that were the same VLAN attached to the same switch, your ping times were, you know, 10, 15, 20 milliseconds. Where if you do it over VXLAN, you're looking at a couple hundred milliseconds. But again, then again, I'm doing everything in a virtualized environment on EVNG. I'm using 9.2.2 code right now. I'm actually looking at um, upgrading to 9.3 now that I've seen some enhancements for that on uh, the, the Nexus 9K documentation. So I did that, and then as I was diving into it, I, I did the uh, ingress replication over unicast, and then I deployed multicast, and I was doing flood and learn. And I was getting everything to work the way that I wanted it to, and following you know a couple of books that I've read, I've followed some of INE's uh, VXLAN content and things like that, but then you know the brain starts to work. It's just like, well, why am I doing one VNI to one VLAN? That seems kind of limiting, right? And I didn't really understand that, so I sort of started putting out some tweets and it wasn't complaining. It was more like, hey, this doesn't make any sense. You know, am I looking at this wrong? You know, is this the way that it's supposed to be doing? And things like that. And I was able to get a lot of feedback, which was really good because it helped me understand things better. And that's really that was the goal, right? So if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me at Riker Rob. I'll put the, there'll be a, uh, in the description, I'll put my Twitter handle in there. Uh, I did that, and um, ironically, just a couple of the tweets that I had got uh, got a lot of traction from a lot of people, and some people that I um, I follow on Twitter, uh, one of, uh, one person's name is Lucas Kratiger, and the reason I'm saying these names is because it's public, if you go onto Twitter, you'll be able to see the, the, uh, the tweet threads and things like that. He was able to provide some context around why things are doing the way that they are. So huge shout out to Lucas for, you know, you know, stepping in and, you know, trying to give me some clarification. So huge, huge thank you to Lucas for that. And um, so I started reading out more on VXLAN eVPN and how BGP eVPN works because from what I've gathered, there is no control plane for VXLAN. So BGP was kind of modified to support it. So there's that piece. So I'm starting to dive into that now and all of its components. So I've already demoed it once before and it was a lot of moving pieces. So I'm trying to get a better handle on, you know, what each thing is doing. Again, at the end of the day, I don't care about trying to get it working. I'm more interested in knowing all the, the, the behind the scenes pieces. Why is this command needed? Why is that feature enabled? Things like that to try to get a better understanding of it. Pretty much what I've understood is it's basically no different than layer two VPN with MPLS, you know, except for the encapsulation isn't uh, MPLS, it's VXLAN. So again, I still have a lot to learn. I'm still working on that. I don't know how deep I'm going to go right now with VXLAN because for the NP data center, it's not really needed from what I gather to be that deep. Maybe when I go start going down the CCIA track, 
uh, maybe I'll go a little bit deeper than that, but I was actually really interested in knowing more about VXLAN as I was going along. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to go back to reading uh, a chapter, uh, different chapters of the book and um, get that done. Also watch the videos on that type of stuff to get those things out of the way. I have uh, the next one up is going to be UCS. So I start, I'll start going through the UCS side of the house. Or I'm sorry, ACI. I'll start going through ACI, then I'll start going through UCS. So I'm going to do the the infrastructure stuff first, you know, layer two networking, routing, multicast, OTB, VXLAN. Then I'll dive into ACI and go from there. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for stopping by and hanging out with me. If you haven't already done so, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys uh, in the next video. Take it easy.